Hi, I'm Lynette and welcome to my channel. So today, I'm going to be giving you an update on my eyeshadow and lipstick purchases for 2019. Now, at the end of last year, when I went into this crazy shopping frenzy because all the brands were having sales every day, <laughs> and I just went, ooh, I just went out and bought a whole bunch of makeup, primarily eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes that I didn't really need, but um, didn't even necessarily want all that much, but they were on discount, deep discounts, and they might have been palettes I was sort of interested in a while back, but I had kind of forgotten about it. Anyway, ended up buying them and ended up with way more eyeshadow, more eyeshadow palettes than I can use. I hadn't been using the ones that I have already, so I didn't need to buy any more and I did. So, um, moving forward, I my plan, my hope, <laughs> is to buy fewer eyeshadow palettes and to really start using the eyeshadow and the lipsticks that I have because I'm a little crazy with my lipstick collection also did a massive declutter of the lipsticks and um, haven't decluttered the eyeshadows not ready for that just yet <laughs> but um, really in 2019 I really want to spend less on eyeshadow period so my 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 strat one of my strategies is to keep a record of how much that I'm I actually spend on eyeshadows this year and to kind of hold myself accountable you know at least to take a real hard look in black and white and see just how much money I'm spending on eyeshadows that I don't need <laughs> and same thing with lipsticks um, I plan to keep a total of the lipsticks and eyeshadows that I purchased this year knowing that I'm probably going to buy some you know I'm not gonna go cold turkey but I'm I, I think my thought is that if I'm able to see just how much money I'm spending, maybe it'll help slow me down and bring me to my senses, okay? So that's what I've uh, started doing. On the flip side of that, I also plan on keeping a list of all the eyeshadows and lipsticks that I didn't buy, that I talked myself out of purchasing because I feel like I definitely wanna hold myself accountable for what I have purchased, but I also, want to you know if i'm doing well i want to be able to look on black and white paper and see just how well i've been doing in restraining myself from purchasing new eyeshadows and lipsticks because i think that's important too sometimes you'll look and see oh, i bought another eyeshadow palette but you don't think about all the other eyeshadow palettes that came out that you would have probably more than likely bought and you didn't because you really are making some progress however little <laughs> in not buying more makeup that you don't need so this is it so I have my little book in front of me and yes this is also a mini ColourPop haul but we're gonna get to that in a minute <laughs> so I have my little book right here um, where I've been keeping my list now if you've been here, you know that the only eyeshadow palette leaving, going into 2019 that I knew I was going to buy, told you I was going to buy, was the, the Tri Palette from Juvia's Place. And I bought that, and then I also ended up picking up the Zulu Palette as well, which was not on my list, um, on any list anywhere, but ended up buying that too. Okay. So I took a hit already 2019 and it was only February and I already purchased not one but two palettes. All right, but then I had a list of the eyeshadow palettes that came out that um, I was restraining myself from purchasing. And I only had, I had three things on my list actually. Um, here, here it is right here. I don't know if you can see that but as you'll see, um, everything on the list has been crossed out. And it's been crossed out because I bought everything on the list. So yes, not getting off to the greatest of starts here in 2019. I, I'm aware of that. 
But what was on the list were two eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop, the It's My Pleasure palette and the Ooh La La palette. When that It's My Pleasure palette came out, oh my god, I knew immediately I wanted that, but I was like, no, 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 I don't need another purple palette because I have the Pretty Poison palette from Bad Habit that I've only used like one maybe two eyeshadows from it since I picked it up months ago last year. So, yeah, but then ColourPop went on ahead and had a sale, um, and so they had 20% off, and that was all I needed to go on ahead and buy these damn eyeshadow palettes, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And what was also on my list were some new singles from Sydney Grace, the military green-inspired uh, the military inspired green eyeshadows that she released and You already know I did a tutorial using some of those eyeshadows <laughs> So had to cross that off the list as well so currently um, I'm gonna give you the total of what I've spent thus far right after I go through this little ColourPop haul and show you what I got so as I said I bought those two palettes that were on my I'm not gonna or my palettes that I was not gonna buy restraining restraining myself from buying went on ahead and bought those and the Ooh La La palette which is not new it's been out for a minute but that's how good I was see how good I was being I didn't buy it until just recently this is what it looks like and it's basically just a pink palette so really in buying these eyeshadows I don't have a lot of pink eyeshadows, although I'm pretty sure I have two of these eyeshadows in singles already. <laughs> this shade, uh, Poodle, I definitely do already have, and I think I might have Soft Core, core too. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so, you know, I don't have a lot of pink eyeshadows, and I feel like I'm always on the lookout to add pink eyeshadows to my collection, so this one actually kind of makes sense for me. At least that's what I'm telling myself. And this one, the It's My Pleasure palette. Oh, man, as, so, as soon as I saw this launch, I was like, <laughs> um, but you know, it's it didn't just launch, right? So I was good at restraining myself for a little while. Kept telling myself I have that pretty poison palette. I have the uh, Paradise Fallen palette from Ace Boutte. Like I don't need any more purples. Now this isn't really a purple palette. It's it's plummy, so it's it's got some. I wouldn't. I don't know if I would call it a purple palette, but it's definitely um, purple inspired. I'm surprised at how small I know I say this all the time but these palettes always look much bigger when I see them in other people's videos and then when I get them I'm like this is tiny I mean tiny. so yeah I got both of these palettes and you know I'm not mad <laughs> I'm not mad at myself <laughs> I mean I wish I was but I'm really I'm I'm really not I'm, I'm really not um, and then I got, cause you know you gotta spend $30 in order to get free shipping on the ColourPop website. So these palettes retail for $12 and I paid $9.60 for them, I believe. And then I got a, a single shadow and this is green. Um, I think I ordered these before. Did I order these before the... Sydney Grace eyeshadow. Anyway, it took a long time for this order to get here. This is the eyeshadow in the shade Sideline. And this is what it looks like in the pan. And that is the swatch of it. Their, um, their eyeshadows retail for $4. I think it's $4. And with the sale, I got it for like $3 and change. Yeah, I got it for like $3 and change. So, I mean, I didn't spill, spend a whole lot of money. And then I got two concealers, um, which uh, this is in the shade Dark 46. Deep Golden is what it used to be called. So I got two of these. You know I use 
these on the, every time I wear makeup I wear this concealer on my face I go through them so quickly because you don't get a lot of product in them so I just really fly through them and then because it took so long for my stuff to get here <laughs> I got this little no sorry we're late XOXO ColourPop and so they threw in a free ultra matte lip, lipstick and this is in the shade extra toppings and this is what it looles like and this is the swatch it's like this um, reddish orange it's like an orangey coral type shade not the type of shade I typically buy but I don't know this is this looks pretty pretty <laughs> it's an ultra what is it an ultra matte lip I haven't heard I don't own any ultra matte lipsticks um, and I haven't heard good things about them I've heard that they're very drying so I don't know you know I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not the color is interesting and it's definitely unlike anything I have in my collection because I don't normally buy colors like this because I think they're too bright no don't they don't look good on me but I'm willing to give it a, uh, a try I think it would be beautiful in um, the spring and the summer it just scream spring and summer so I'm gonna give it a try and see what I think of the ColourPop ultra matte lipsticks okay so my camera shut off and I'm not quite sure where exactly it shut off at so I hope I'm not uh, skipping over anything but I, I think I was up to the grand total for how much that I have spent on eyeshadows and lipsticks thus far in the year two, uh, 2019 so here we go all right so in January I bought two palettes from Juvia's Place the Zulu palette and the Tri palette that came up to a total of $34.75 and then I also bought from Sephora a Pat McGrath graph mini lip gloss set one of the trios that she has and that was $25 this month in February I purchased what you saw here the ooh la la palette and the it's my pleasure palette from ColourPop both of those retailed at $9.60 and then I also got that single eyeshadow in the shade sideline and that came to $3.20 and then uh, Sydney Grace I got seven of the new singles the military themed um, singles that she released that they released this year and that came to with shipping and tax that came to a total of $36.30 and then finally I got a one of the new wet and wild cat suit mega last um, cat suit shine gloss what is this high shine lipsticks one of their new lip glosses and um, I got that I think they retail for $4.99 $3.99 dollars I don't remember I got it from Walmart so was it Walmart yeah so I just rounded it up to five dollars which gives me a total of one hundred and twenty three dollars and twenty cents that I have thus far spent on eyeshadows and lipsticks in the year 2019 in terms of my uh, eyeshadows and lipsticks that I have talked myself out of buying thus far well that list is empty right now <laughs> so I have not gotten off to a bang up start here in the new year but um, hopefully that's going to change as we move along I am keeping a record of at all the money that I'm spending I am going to check in with this book every time I think about oh I want to pick up that eyeshadow palette or that those eyeshadow singles um, or if I see a lipstick that I really want I've been asking myself look is it unique to my collection um, in terms of the eyeshadows do I already have pinks and purples and palettes that look similar to this that I'm not that I already have and I'm not using um, you know I'm 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 gonna try to get do better I'm gonna try to do better <laughs> 
that that's that's all I can promise here is that I'm going to try and do better. So I'd like to know how are you doing this year in terms of your makeup shopping? Did you make any similar decisions in 2019 that you were going to maybe rein in some of your um, makeup spending? Let me know how you've been doing in the comments below. You know, we're all in this together, right? Can we be at least? <laughs> if you liked this video and found it entertaining at all, then please give it a like and consider subscribing because I will be coming back and doing updates on how much I'm spending on eyeshadows and lipsticks as we go along here in 2019 along with makeup hauls, swatches, tutorials, and reviews here every Saturday. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye.